Hello and welcome to the third episode of the Hello. Alright. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Shut the Welcome back up. <laughs> to this week's episode of the Six Pack Podcast. I'm your host, Aaron. Ah, that's and this is <laughs> this is Alex. Alright. Hello and welcome to the third episode of the Six Pack Podcast. I'm your host, Aaron, and today I'm joined by our second host, Alex. Co host. Co host perhaps. Even, someone, someone Secondary call, host. Secondary host. So today, uh, we will, of course, be reviewing our another brew. What is it? Today, we have John Boston. Good old Johnny boy. Uh, John Boston's Golden golden Ale. Dry hopped. Yeah. But we won't spoil too much on the beer until we get to that. <laughs> until we actually taste it. I haven't even sipped it yet. Um, I've already started. He's already started, though, as, as is tradition to drink. Um, so, what's been going on in your week, Alex? Um, well, it's my second week back at work, which has been nice. Um, a lot going on in terms of work. It's busy. Uh, we're actually pretty close now to the launch of our YouTube channel, which is very exciting. Um, so getting the final things sorted for that. Um, so again, obviously we've got our gaming channel, our shorts channel, uh, and our vlogs channel. Uh, and of course the six pack podcast. Um, so I do a lot of the editing for those channels. So I've kind of been hustling to get all that done. Aaron's been busy getting all of our social media and everything uh, sorted up and organized, which again is exciting. Um, and then we're going to start releasing. So we're going to be kind of like scheduling it all to go live and then releasing it sort of all in one go, which could be pretty cool. Uh, other than that, I, went for, I had drinks on Friday night with some friends, you which did. was really cool. Um, Sick invite. You were invited. I was. You chose not to go. Well, I didn't choose. I was still sick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I was I, not in a drinking you, mood. You were came down with a would you pull your pretendant? No, I had food poisoning. <laughs> oh no. I uh, definitely was not pretending. I had illness streaming out of two ends of me. Mm. My mouth and my ass. Delicious. Um, oh, no. <laughs> for about twenty four hours. Thanks for putting that image in my head. For about twenty four hours. So that was not fun. Um you had drinks with the boys, did you? How I did. was that? I did. I had a drink. I had a drink. I had multiple drinks with around five of the boys, which was good. Uh, girlfriend was there as well, but she's effectively one of the boys. Um, so what do we do? Had a few drinks here. Went and had dinner. Um, Where'd you have dinner? Just down in the pub. Just down oh, here, yeah. down the bar, usual. Um, where we will go for dinner later as yeah. well. Um, yeah, so I did that. Had a few, probably a few too many babies. Um, then came back here, uh, and one selected friend and I got on the wines, and that was when I started to get sleepy. Uh, red wine always makes me sleepy. Um, so then I was shortly, shortly asleep. I come with the asleep. Others would say passed out. Yeah. Um, Were you even that drunk, or? No, not really. And just like, yes. how many red wines did you have before you got sleepy? About a bottle. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> uh, it was probably about three quarters of a bottle. To yourself or between the two of you? No, no, no. We had two bottles between the two oh. of us. <laughs> but he was drinking the whole time through, whereas I only just... I had I had beers first. Okay. And then I went on to the red wine. Um, but so he was, was drinking red wine the entire time. Yeah, he always does that. Ah, uh, fucking hell. He loves his red wine. Yeah, I don't know how he does it. Um, yeah, and then talked for a bit and then, yeah, went to sleep. He crashed, <laughs> left at about 10... I slept in, which was nice for a change. I don't usually sleep in. Um, but yeah, other than that, not a whole lot. Got, no. what, Magic Millions we coming do. up this week? Uh, for those who don't know, Magic Millions is a horse race in the Gold Coast every year. I'm not, I'm or not race day. horse race. race uh, it's called day. Magic Millions because every single race that day has a prize at least of one million. Who knows? Next podcast, we could be millionaires. Well, we couldn't because we don't own a race horse in the Magic Millions. <laughs> Unless we bet enough on the horse and then win that, That's, potentially then. It's either, like, really low yeah. odds or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, every every uh, race is, has a price pool of at least a million bucks. So. What about you? How was your week? What did you do? It's been fucking <laughs> cutting me off. I was still talking. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, my week was pretty shit. Yeah, you did actually have a pretty bad week. <laughs> I was sick and then I lost my job. I got fired by text message. So dog. I honestly can't believe that. No. So a bit of backstory is I'd only just recently or about, I was at the end of my three month probationary period. Um, in Australia, at least, I don't know if other countries have the same high class labor laws that we mm. do. Um, you have a three month, anytime you start a new job, 
you have a three month probationary period where essentially you're their bitch. Um, mm. They can, like, if they don't like you or whatever. I think mine was a six month probation period. Uh, okay. Mine was only three. I but, passed mine. Yeah. But so they were, essentially, there's no, like, it doesn't matter what, they're just allowed to buy you or whatever for any reason. So I went through my three months with full expectations that I would be continued on. Uh, so I got let on, essentially. I'm sure we've all been let on by a girl before. Except this time. Or a man. Like, or a man. Or yep. a man. Or, um, yeah, no, really. I guess I'm just assuming that the only ones who watch this are guys. <laughs> um, the false assumption. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I'm assuming that the only ones who watch this are guys are straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, how many how many things can we assume yeah. in such a short period of time? Too much assuming. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I, I assume we've all been... Oh, shit, I'm assuming again. <laughs> Stop assuming. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think I got led on. Uh, they bullshitted me, essentially. Why do you reckon that was? Was it a, like a? I reckon they're or... probably pulling some kind of scam. But uh, what uh, I talked to someone who knew a few things about this sort of shit, and they said apparently the government's got some kind of grant they get to hire people, oh. and, but you have to keep them on for at least three months. So my three months ended, and they're like, "Fuck yeah." Well, because the one thing, so I, I Aaron sent me the text message. Um, so one thing that I thought was interesting was the line that said, um, "For the benefit of all parties." Yeah. What fucking benefit does this have yeah, to you? No. You got sacked on Sunday 4 p.m. Yeah. when you were supposed to go to work the next day. Right. So that's the thing. I'd never got any indication of my performance being negative. Um, it was just completely out of the blue. So a very shitty thing to happen. Um, however, I have already got a Back couple of job interviews lined up. I actually started applying for jobs straight away on Monday. Um, so, yeah. Pretty crap, but yeah. <laughs> it's all looking up. Unfortunately, we haven't released any videos yet, so we can't make any fucking cash off this. <laughs> so I need something to pay the bills. I've got a cat. That's oh, yeah, you got a cat. cat? I do have a cat. Its name's Martin. I don't know what sort of cat it is. I can't remember. But I've got the info at home somewhere. I could look. Don't have it on me, so I don't know. It sounds like you don't care about the cat that much. <laughs> Uh, well, hey, we'll put a photo of the cat. That's what the cat looks like. We will. I will. <laughs> yeah, <Alex. laughs> I'm going to put like a picture of like one of those sphinx cats. Yeah. So there's the photo of the cat. Uh, you can tell me what breed it is, unless I've already looked at the piece of paper that tells me, which I possibly would. So there we go. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> that, that's um, our weeks. That's yeah. what's been going on. You know, Sunday, I kind of low-key want to get hit by a bus, but now I'm just... <laughs> Only slightly would get by a bus. <laughs> they can turn for the worst. <laughs> All right. So, cryptocurrency. Oh, boy. Um, there's we... been a bit going on in the world of cryptocurrency, I feel, lately. Like, probably a little bit older. I think the biggest thing is FTX. Have you seen much about no, that? I don't know anything. Uh, Please enlighten me. So, FTX were one of the big um, like crypto brokers. Oh, no, I did hear about this, yeah. Yeah. Well, the biggest thing, reason I know them is because I'm a fan of the Miami Heat basketball team. And the Miami Heat arena was FTX Arena. Mm. <laughs> so I dabbled in crypto. I got royally fucked, like I'm sure many people did, when crypto went to hell about, oh, probably about six months ago now. Oh. Um, lost a bit of coin. Um, but a big thing now is FTX. So FTX mm. went bankrupt. And now the owner of FDX, oh, his first name's Sam. I can't 100% his last name. Was he supposed to be, was his nickname like the Crypto King or something like that? Yeah, I think his nickname yeah, was I've the heard Crypto about King. This. But he's now been found, or well, not yet guilty. He's currently going to trial on allegations of defrauding mm. billions of dollars from investors. Yeah, I heard that. So crypto is, crypto, I remember over COVID was just a massive fucking thing. Like, <clears throat> It was sort of hailed as this saving grace of like this new kind oh, of thing. Oh, 100%. Like, but the problem always with, yeah, the problem always with crypto was that it was unregulated. The thing that people liked about it has also seemingly been its downfall. Because the it's unregulated. volatility. The volatility and the fact that there's that no again? volatility. Volatility. And the fact that, I mean, it's, well, it's unregulated. Yeah. Like it's not like the stock market or something where like. It of, gets cut off. It yeah, it goes to low for yeah, certain but, circumstances. Like, it, like that, crypto yeah. is just can, you know, where crypto can go from being worth X and like 
hundred bucks one day to a dollar the next. Yeah. You just cannot get that with stocks. Yeah. It's a good point actually. Cause like, um, I can't remember which company it was, but I've heard a story of, um, there was a company publicly listed, uh, in which all of its executive team was flying to some convention, the plane crashed and yeah. wiped out their entire executive team. Um, and obviously in that circumstance, you would expect everything to just crash for that company publicly, right? Like yeah. all of the, the shares and everything, but like, like you're saying regulated, you know, the, the share market put a pause on that company until things were like back up yeah. and, and running. Um, so. And I mean, at least in Australia, that's always what they do. Like yeah. if a share, if a company is going to make a big announcement about something, they'll just hold yeah. share prices until they then make the announcement and then they resume trading. Yeah. So that way you can't, it helps cut back on insider trading. Yeah. Yeah. hundred um, yeah. percent. But yeah, so, you know, he's now been, oh, he's currently going to trial for um, fraud. Yeah. And there are other people as well who are involved in the company. I think it's ex-girlfriend. And then a few other high-level executives who are currently going to trial. A few of them, though, have already confessed, um, pleaded guilty, I know, and they're mm. currently testifying against. Wait, so his girlfriend worked for him in the company? I think it was his ex. She was involved somehow. I can't 100% remember all the details. But, yeah, so she's now testifying against... It's his ex. She's testifying against him, and I know other people are now coming out after pleading guilty and providing evidence against him. So it's definitely not looking good. No, for him, um, it definitely seems there is a fair was a fair bit of fraud within the company. Mm. Um, obviously, time will tell as mm. to whether or not he's found guilty. Yeah, and um, so what then? Like, I'm assuming he'll, like he'll be fined or something for that. I think he'll be facing a lengthy sentence in prison. Lengthy, actually, yeah, I don't yeah. think it'll be a fine. <laughs> I will probably possibly will also be a I'll, fine. I'll probably both, right? But I think he's facing some decades in prison. It's yeah. a lot of pretty. How I much? think it's billions of it's billions, billions of dollars. Um. Yeah, billions of dollars in fraud, so pretty bad. Um, but I guess that does just go to show the problem with crypto in general is that it invites this sort of fraud. Like, I don't think FTX is the only company no. who's doing this sort of shit. No. I don't think that they'll be the last. But, like, you just look at the price. Even Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin's only worth, like, 20 grand mm. a Bitcoin now compared mm. to, what, about nearly 100,000 about yeah. a year, what, probably a bit over a year ago now over COVID. I was lucky. I only had a couple of hundred in, in Bitcoin. I mean, yeah. Oh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. I didn't yeah. have too much that went to waste. But, yeah. But it's yeah. just shit it now. Yeah. Well, it has. Like, um, I caught up with um one of our friends for one of his birthdays down on the Gold Coast, and there was um it was absolutely poor time. Um, there was like just the tail end of of school. It wasn't intentional. It was his twenty third birthday, and he was. Just, was okay. it was so, it not intentional? Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> this particular friend is the, this is the sort of shit he'd do. So uh, I I just think he yeah he just doesn't care. Yeah. Um. Well, he, he's not paced. You know what I mean? Like he's like ah, we'll figure it out. He's a go with the flow type of guy. Um. Uh, anyway, so I remember yeah we went to this club and there was a young bloke sitting on a couch by himself, like in an absolute state. He was passing out. And my partner, she works at a bar um went to get him some water and like i was talking to him keeping him up keeping him upright and like keeping him talking while she went and did that and he's like i'm like all right dude what's your story what do you want to do after you finish after you finish school you know and he goes oh i don't know too much like i didn't put in effort through school i didn't do this i didn't do that like i don't really have many friends like he had two blokes which ditched him Mm -hmm. um and he's like yeah i don't really know what i'm gonna do i don't really have any passions i'm thinking i might just you know just do some trading and i'm like oh you know like day trading like what are you gonna do like do you have much experience with that like day trading can be a like pretty confronting thing um, can obviously go very, very well or very, very bad some days. You know, I was like, do you have a lot of experience in that? He goes, yeah, I put my life savings into, into crypto. <laughs> and I went, oh my God, you poor, poor thing. Yeah. And he brings up his bank account and it's like, and he's like, he's, he's 18. So he, he's, he hasn't got a whole lot of life savings behind him. So it's like a fair chunk of money for that age. And like 85% of it was just gone. <laughs> and he's like, it'll bounce back. It'll bounce back. I'm like, mate. It ain't, it ain't it looking ain't, good. <laughs> it ain't looking good. I mean, at least it wasn't in NFTs. No, I suppose they are worse than crypto. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why the fuck would you ever buy an NFT? Well, I think at the time, like, you know, like, if you got on it. I yeah. never, like, I was, I I was stupid enough to see the appeal in crypto. Mm. 
Like <laughs> NFTs were always something I thought was dumb. Mm. Mm. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Fucking... it's just a volatile place and I think it's very difficult to regulate it. It'll be interesting to see where the next 12 months takes crypto. If it still exists. If it's, I think it'll exist in some Oh, point. like it'll, like, I mean, it's not, it's not like it's going to go away. Nah. But, yeah. I mean, it's all right. Think about how much it's already been discussed and versus what it's, what it's like now. It was all like positive, 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 turn yourself into a millionaire overnight to uh, Mr. Crypto King who was frauded out of billions of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, only time will tell. Only time will tell. All right. The next thing we're going to talk about is. Um, how Aaron and I first met, actually. Um, so we went to school together uh, towards the tail end of primary school. Well, I moved. I was originally from Sydney. And then um, Big smoke. The big smoke. Big and then, smoke. And then when I was in year six, I moved up to Coffs Harbour, which is where mm. we're both from. Yep. Um, which is where we went to school, to, which is where we first met. Because I remember our teacher at the time, Miss Perkins, she... She int- the first person she introduced me to was you. Because I was the token fucking golden child. Yeah. I was the little goody two-shoes, which would do anything, so... So Alex, when we went to school, he was the goody two-shoes, you know, teacher's pet, that kind of guy. The whole way through as well, all the way through year 12. Uh, I feel like I... You, you, I mean, you murdered a person just to get on the SRC. <laughs> <laughs> to be like the third. <laughs> what was it in when we were in year true. 12? No, so I got... Because there was, there was Captain Vice, Captain, then what were you? I was SRC. Yeah, SRC. <laughs> um, okay, fuck. We'll talk about it first. So, there was how I was on the Student Representative Council, which is the SRC, for I think every single year of high school. Yeah. I don't think there was a year that I wasn't. Um, and there was another bloke who was similar, similar work ethic, similar kind of demeanor as me, also was on the SRC every single year. Um as well it was like me and him basically the entire time there was two blokes and two girls um and then it came time to year 12 when it's like you've got captain vice captain and you've got src um so voting went out and uh me and old mate who had done this for years obviously voted uh, obviously went into it but um kind of out of the blue was this other fella and he he's a top bloke like um he was like a re he's probably one of the nicest people i've still ever met to this day who the captain captain yeah, yeah. um yeah so he he applied and like he's, he's a really good bloke and he 100 percent deserved it uh, and i don't think i don't think anyone was undeserving of the place. no everyone who got everyone, captain and vice captain are in high school all all three it. of us i feel like could have been like they were, were all equal like because there were two captains and two vice captains i don't even remember who they who the vice captains were now no, there was there was one boy captain, one vice boy captain, one SRC captain, uh, one SRC boy. Well, there was one three. of each. There was only three of each. Three so boys, cap- three girls. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> so yeah. were they, I thought there was only one SRC. No, no, no. There was one boy, one girl. Huh. It was a girl. I'm telling you that. We may as well just drop names because it's the first fucking name. Um. Oh no, she vice captain. No. Oh, that's right. Um. Again, all... who was the boy vice captain? Well, I thought he was the boy SRC. No, I was the boy SRC. Were you and vice then... captain? Oh, and then after I I became vice captain once we left. This is where the story's going. I thought oh, I I, I, thought... Ne- I didn't get elected vice captain. No, I knew you didn't. But I thought what I thought was that you'd missed out altogether, and then you got into the SRC because he left. No, I was vice captain. Oh, I was vice fuck. captain of I your remember... school. Yeah, I remember that whole situation differently. <laughs> anyway, so that's a bit of a spoiler, but um, we had this guy uh, re- again, really nice guy. He was a vice captain. He um, he left um, to, to go and pursue other things. Like I can't remember exactly. Well, he it. found that school wasn't for him. Yeah, yeah, no like ve- very smart guy, very very smart guy. But also, like I just don't think his his mind was kind of. In well, I think there was a bit of shit going on behind the scenes. Yeah, it was and... like he had a he had a pretty rough year. Yeah, um, and I still I still keep in contact with him to this day. Um, he's doing better at least. Yeah, I mean yeah. he's a handsome man. I mean yeah, he's thriving now. Obviously, you know, like um, anyone, school is just not meant for him. Um, um, and then, so yeah, once he left, I got like bumped up into vice captain, um, by default, I suppose. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, that's kind of it. And then there was, I think it was, I think, boy SNC. SNC. Yeah, because I went to over right. camp four. Yeah. Yeah. See, because yeah, it was always was going to be tough for you to have a crap captain or vice captain. Yeah. Because I mean, the two people that got captain and vice captain were pretty universally liked. Oh yeah, hundred percent. That just was like third. Yeah. Which is fine. Again, everyone deserved. Everyone deserved yeah. a shot. Like, we didn't really have anyone shit doing it. Yeah, I think. I think like uh, the other thing the captain had going for him was like he was kind of an underdog. You know what I mean? Like he'd never done it before, that sort of thing, and was just like a really, really nice guy. Yeah, everyone but the problem was, like, was, yeah, the thing was he was no one didn't like him. Yeah, oh, he's like one of those dudes most who liked people. Like he, no matter who you were, he'd always give you the jacket off his back kind of thing. Yeah, top bloke. Yeah. Um, anyway, completely derailed. <laughs> Interesting discussion. Interesting <laughs> discussion. But I mean, how I remember, we first met. <laughs> I remember heaps though, just from that time. So remember there was the golf day that we organized. Yeah, yeah, organized. yeah. I I pulled Aaron in to organize a lot of stuff with me. Yeah. All... I, I played. I played golf. I still play golf. I was going to say I played golf, but no, I still play golf every Saturday. Right. Every Saturday, at least every Saturday. I try. I've been already. It's Tuesday, today's Tuesday, and I've already played Monday, Tuesday, because I'm not fucking working. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Aaron stops working. Now he just plays golf yeah. all the time. <laughs> I need... I mean, unfortunately, I'm good enough to play on the PGA, but, I mean, I play off 15 at the moment, and that's... If you play golf, you'd know that's okay. I've got no idea what that is. I just play top golf. <laughs> yeah. And that's only because I can drink beer while I do it as well. But we had the golf day. Yeah. Yeah, we organised a fun... I did a, we did a lot of fundraising. Um, yeah. St. Vincent de Paul, Lions, uh, yeah, a lot. I know the St. Vincent de Paul stuff. I remember when we were in year nine in the top science enrichment class. Oh, yeah, we were in the top science. I remember, though, that I tried to join the philosophy oh. club. And at home. God, was I a nerd. <laughs> yeah. I was in the science, philosophy, and theology class yeah. of lunchtime. I remember I tried to join that though, and Holmes he said that he didn't think I was mature enough to he didn't join. Th- it. You wouldn't take it seriously, which I kind of agree with. I was a bit of a fuckwit. I remember no, well. No, you I think were, you, you weren't. I, was, I mean, I wasn't. I don't know. The thing is, I guess, like, I suppose that we all go through that phase when we're going through school. You're just a bit of a ditz. I think that's yeah. what gets people. Like, I don't know. The, the stupidest thing I remember doing was when I threw that shoot. Oh! We were in here, when we were in science, I remember that I took a shoe off of another friend of ours. I can't remember whose shoe I threw even. But I just remember... I, just oh, remember I saw saying, it in slow motion. This I, I is remember. in the top science class. Yeah. So we were in the top science class, and funny enough, I don't think you made the cut next year after this incident, did you? Nah. But that was just due to my own grades rather than any <laughs> personal vindication. <laughs> oh, so you think? No. Where do you think the, no, the grades no, came no. from? No, I, I don't think. I know. <laughs> I was in top 30 <laughs> for my science mark. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I remember. I can't remember how I got the shoe or what drove me for, but I just I remember what happened. I remember I got the shoe and I there was a rubbish bin in the back corner of the room. I remember just grabbing the shoe, and then I remember like I was trying to throw it into the rubbish bin in the corner he of the room. It. He pegged it. I pegged it, and then I remember there was oh, this other no. girl in our class, and she like I just remember I, like the slow motion. I, thing I, I swear, I swear, it's one of the only yeah. times in my life that I have actually seen like a moment that felt like it was in slow motion. There's two things I can remember, and this is of like the slow motion thing, and this is one of them. I'll discuss the second one after this. But the first, I remember like just throwing the shoe, and then as I threw the shoe. Another girl in our class started to stand up. Because she did something. Like, she yeah. answered a question or did something and she was excited. <laughs> yeah. She, like, jumped up out of her seat and was like, yeah! As the shoe was flying, as it was flying across yeah. the room. Because the thing is... You would have got it in. If you she didn't stand it. up, it was perfect throw. Perfect but the throw. The problem is she stood up and I just remember, yeah, time slowed down. And, like, we could all see her standing up and, like, we knew 100% from that moment it was on it a was gonna course. It was going to hit her. And she stood up and it clocked us square in the face. And she yeah. took no, it. No, it was, in the, it was like cheekbone yeah, and cheek. And I remember she took it really fucking well. Like, she did was not phased about it. Yeah. And I felt so terrible because I never intended, obviously, to hit her in the face. I was just trying to get in the bin. I felt like the biggest dickhead ever. But yeah, I just can still. I, that moment flashes back in my memory. I, I remember just seeing the shock. 
I remember the that. The amount of shock on Aaron's face after yeah. this happened. And then I remember also home, like our teacher at the time, we called him Holmesy. Um, just his face afterwards too. Like he was just so disgusted. Yeah. <laughs> just Again, pure, he, I, I, pure I, like, disappointment. <laughs> and I, I remember, I don't, know, I don't think he kicked me out. I was at the end of the, it was at the, just before lunch anyway, he did keep me behind. And I was like, yeah, I fucked up. I don't know what else you want from me. I feel pretty... Also, like, if she... I feel pretty... Up, yeah, she's... It's kind of her fault, really, yeah. if we look at I, it. Like, I feel pretty shitty about this whole situation, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, man, I'm the, I'm the first one, man. That was not okay. The other thing I remember time slowing down for was... I don't know if you were in my classes. When I was in, I think, year 10. But I remember we were playing T-ball. I remember someone throwing the T at the ball. Like, it was a pure... Like, it was a soft... Oh! But you got hit in the face with the yeah. softball. Yeah, bloody uh, Maka. Yes. Yeah, right. You were in my class. Yeah. I remember the ball being thrown. Oh. I just remember, like, I can't remember. Yeah, it was never again none of those unintentional things. But the girl wasn't paying attention. Because she was, remember... was one of those girls that kind of like kept to herself yeah. a little bit. Like, she was a bit quiet, a little bit reserved. And I just like, remember the whole time. Didn't want to be there. It was as if the ball had like a heat seeking on it. And it, it just kept tracking. It, it was like they hit it and it would have gone that way. It seriously and curved, then it curved on about a 90 degree angle. It just went like quick. It was just kept and it was tracking just towards her the entire time. <laughs> and like She's we all running. We were all no she didn't know. No, she didn't know. No, no, but like we were all just watching it, the ball and I just remember well, the whole time well, it just tracked it and like you just again knew. It, it was like the time slowed down, you're like you knew it was gonna get up. And I got in the face. And again, she was unbothered by No, it. like... It was a fucking softball. Like, oh, literally. Yeah. And I remember the noise it made. Yeah. Just imagine, like, a softball... Uh, I, I don't know if they call them softballs everywhere, but they're, like, the hard, like, baseballs, right? Um, and they're like, really, really hard. Yeah. They're going to hit here, like, this cheekbone, like, right here. And the noise it made was, like, clock. Yeah. And she just was fine. She yeah. was like out, and bothered. then like went and sat down for a bit. But like that's like black eye territory. Yeah, but didn't get in the eye, got the no. cheek. But well, yeah, right. I remember that too. I remember both both situations even weren't even funny though. That's the thing. <laughs> like uh, it's good looking back now that we know that they're okay. But at the time, it, like that's what I mean. It never was a situation where you wanted the person because both of the top people we hit were never or well, person I hit and the person that got but hit nice in people. softball were nice people. Nice people. But I just remember, like, yeah, the whole time slowing down thing. Oh, I, the whole like, conversation. The way that about... you describe it, it was a heat-seeking softball, baseball. I literally followed her. Like, it was like they hit it and it was going this way. And then all of a sudden, I don't know, it went chain. It was like, Whoa. yeah. Um, so we've completely derailed the conversation. But hey, tune that. in next week to find yeah, out next... how Aaron and Alex first met yeah, because we, we've already spent this time fun. talking about. Yeah. yeah. That completely got fucked up. But next week, we'll talk about that. So, yeah, now that you've been given background and context on... on nothing, on, on actually. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. It's yeah, just a whole different it. conversation. Yeah. But that, that's what we do here. That's what we do. You, that's what you're here for. We're all least... authentic, a little bit chaotic. <laughs> and we've got a topic for next week. And right? we've got a topic for next week. A topic for next week. Tune in next week. <laughs> and you'll find out. All right. There's been a lot going on at the moment with... Um, Scams, scams, yeah. uh, hacking, like cyber, cyber security, and all that sort of stuff. I mean, cyber crime now is a pretty big issue. As well, a, I mean, in Australia, we have a private health insurance fund called Medibank. Well, there's two big ones in Australia. There's Optus, and then there's Medibank. I'm neither of us are a customer of Optus, so that didn't affect. I'm it. not a customer of Medibank. However, yeah. I'm a customer of Medibank, and so Optus, I think, in Australia, we've got what? About, I think well, we just hit 26 million the other day. I remember seeing it online. So we've got 26 million people. So in Optus, 10 million people's data got Fuck. breached. It was third. Yeah. So then <laughs> there was the Optus thing, and then like, probably a few weeks after would have been Medibank. So I'm a customer with the health insurance fund. So in Australia, we've got public health. Like your public health, you, like you can go to the doctor for bulk bills or whatever, or go to a hospital and you don't pay a cent. We're very fortunate to have yeah. universal health care. Love that. Um, but then if you want to, because there's waiting lists and shit, if you want to jump the waiting lists, you can pay extra, yeah. like like everywhere or anything in society. If you've got money, it benefits you quite a bit. Um, you can be with private health insurance, which gets you extra shit. Um, so that's what I'm with, with Medibank. But Medibank got hacked and I lost, well, my data got breached, which is an email. I don't think I had any, 
none of my like bank accounts or anything got affected but email they got it all um so i mean i've got an increase in scam text messages mm. and shit like that mm. just got my mobile number and all that mm. um but yeah following like that follows on with our scam thing because now scams are pretty common like between well, medibank because medibank's got millions of customers and then optus with their 10 I, million over at least over at least over half of the australian population has been affected by some kind of scam like, i've had a bit of data. i've had a bit of experience from the from the the merchant side of things with that um the and merchant. It's like business ah. sort of thing so I, I've, I've had to deal with that from my side too and um not 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 to that same degree what i've what i've had to experience is because because people are dumb uh and because they've had their information leaked what's what's been happening is like for instance say you set an email and you reuse the password over and over again right what happens is the scammers are actually able to access other applications by like using like a, a password generator which it takes that password uses it if it doesn't work whatever but then like does things close to it so say i don't know your password was uh dogs one two three right and then it would go like dogs one two three like dog one two three dogs one two three four you know and just like test everything to see if you can get access yeah and currently what's been happening is that people obviously who have had their emails and their password leaks then reuse that same email and password on other applications can then obviously get access yeah and then it's like it's causing this like massive like chain or ripple effect which is really difficult to like explain to customers as well and like members of the public that's like you've reused the same email you've reused the same password like of course people can get access to like your other things yeah so, well the problem is though i think is that like there's no i think there's no secure because they don't the way you get hacked isn't through your password or whatever so that's the thing i don't think there's any password you can use that so secure so let's just say you make up a 15 uh, they definitely do they definitely hack your different services not through, through medibank through the medibank and optus no no so that, that the re like that gets compromised because of the business yeah but what i'm saying is once that information is compromised they can then reuse yeah. that to get access to other accounts so like if 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 they hack optus or medibank and your email is aaron at aaron.com and your password is one two three four then if you reuse that same email and that same password and other applications, which if people get access to your devices, can see, oh, Aaron has Facebook, Instagram, all that yeah. sort of stuff installed, they then test those same username and password on those applications and then get access yeah. to it and then have a whole new wealth of data. Well, the thing is, at least for me through the... Well, I keep getting messages, actually, of like, oh, this password mm. been compromised. Compromised, yeah. So you've got those messages too? No, no, no I just I've seen them before. Oh, no. You haven't? No. no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, the only time but I, the I, have, I, never... I, I have experienced it once on like an old email address and everything that I don't use anymore. Yeah. Um, but if for anyone listening who's been experienced by this, what I do recommend is looking up a website called Have I Been Pwned, um, and you can actually plug in your email address, any email address, your international phone. And it shows what has been leaked and it shows where. Yeah. Um, and if you've had any compromised data. So that's that's actually something that I check every like two weeks or so, just to see if there's anything else that's been leaked. But no. Yeah, because like I don't remember actually having any of my passwords within, um, like actually using a password for that Medibank thing. It's just my details because it's just through health anyway. I was like, like they could see. Popped up, chief. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> I have no idea what you're Not the private about. health. But like, because that's the thing that's like, well, I will access all your medi medical health records. I don't really give a shit. <laughs> what are they, the fuck are they going to do with that? <laughs> Either I have close to IBS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say that I fit in with the mold of everything, all the other shit everyone normally has wrong with them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a clear health record. Ah, uh, my health record's pretty decent, I guess, as well. Um, yeah. So Marvel. 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 Yeah, man, Marvel. Marvel. Eh? Um, well, the whole reason that we've brought this up today is that, you know, I've just recently I finished the whole Marvel cinematic... Well, not the whole Marvel cinematic movie, because... Movie. Universe. Because they're constantly 
pumping out new movies. <laughs> I'm up to I finished what Endgame, Avengers Endgame, so I'm up to that. So well, we've started behind. Well, we started watching Loki, and I really fucking like Loki. Loki's a very so far, TV Loki, show. Loki the TV series is up there for one of my favorite um, of any of the whole Marvel series, right. mainly because I think, in my opinion, Loki is one of my favorite characters. He is a bit of a uh, redemption artist. Yeah. Like, probably my favourite character would have to be Iron Man. I love Iron Man. Do you see yourself in Tony Stark a lot? No. <laughs> Not at all. I see myself no, quite no, different in Tony Stark. I, I, I just love Iron Man, though. Yeah. I love uh, Iron Man slash Tony Stark. Like, if I had to pick a favourite character, it would be Iron Man. Like, it, to me, it's shit that there's going to be no more, like, that we're done with the whole... But there's Iron Heart. Have you seen... I'm assuming you haven't seen the newest <laughs> no. Black Panther. No, not yet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> no, I haven't seen the newest Black Panther because we're watching it like in order. So we'll get up to it. Eventually. I feel like you told me like months ago you'd finished Endgame. Not months ago. I finished Endgame about a month ago and now we're watching Loki. Because mm. then we I haven't seen the newest Doctor Strange yet either. My favourite TV show. Because we've seen Hulk. She Hulk. Really? No, not at all. <laughs> like <laughs> you you said that Loki goes down as one of your favourite TV shows. She-Hulk goes down as one of the worst TV shows that I've ever seen. Because I've seen the trailers for She-Hulk, and I've got to say they're not captivating me. No, no, not at all. And only <laughs> the only episode that I actually liked was the one that Daredevil was in, because I really liked Daredevil. Um, and then they fucking ruined that at the finale, which I won't spoil anything, but I don't know. Like, it just felt too nonchalant. Have you seen the What If? Yes, I've seen it. Like if, if there's any form of Marvel content that exists out there, <laughs> chances are I've seen it. Do you like the what if? I did. I oh, quite gosh, enjoyed them. Because they just kind of spread out through the whole universe. Yeah, and anyway. the one thing I did like about what ifs... Because um, I haven't seen WandaVision yet either. Did uh, you like WandaVision? Uh, it wasn't my favourite, but... I... Is it worth watching? Yeah. Like, it, I'd, I'd rate it below Loki. Loki was also my... Probably my favorite team. I mean, Loki's just got such a good cast, and like fucking Owen Wilson. God. Yeah, yeah. I just, oh wow, yeah. Fucking Loki's Loki's yeah. up there for one of the best, just anything. And there's a season two coming as well, but we're only up to episode. Trust me, I know. I'm only up to episode four, I think. Don't really tell you what happens. No, or have I got? I got two episodes left. Don't fucking tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, <clears throat> but without spoiling anything, uh, there's actually. Like, how Loki ends is kind of, like, how the next phase of the cinematic universe starts with, like, a new yeah. kind of, like, a villain. Well, the whole... Um, well, this whole new phase is the multiverse. Correct. Yeah. And, like, it's... I don't know. It's sad to me that there's no new... Like, the whole original cut. Like, I don't know. It feels... I don't know. It's sad. Well, you'll never have that same spark, for no. sure. But... Like, I cried. Like I, do, I, do I cried think... in Endgame. <laughs> Actually? Yeah, it's fucking sad. Oh. Um, I, my favorite character's dead. <laughs> look, I, I saw I saw this actually on a poll. I hate Gwyneth Paltrow, but um, I don't really, really like Pepper Potts to be honest. I um, rip rip um fucking Iron Man's daughter. Maybe she'll show up. I saw this poll. They're all fucking either dead or retired now. I saw this poll and it was like, would you like to see Iron Man return? And it was like seventy percent yes, thirty percent no, which I actually disagreed with. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge Marvel fan. I really am. Marvel, Star Wars, I'm your man. Harry Potter. Um, but <laughs> the Harry Potter gang coming out. Dude, no one wants that. I think a lot of people want it. What fucking universe are you living in? No one wants a Harry Potter game. Yeah, fucking shitloads of people want a Harry what Potter game. What are you going to do? Poke sticks at each other? There are people who fucking dream about getting a Hogwarts letter in their mailbox. I'm going to run through a wall and end up in Hogwarts. Anyway... And if you've got Hogwarts, go see a doctor. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway. So, God, you have a fucking vendetta against Harry Potter. <laughs> no. So look, I'll be the first one. Like, I, love, I love Iron Man as well. He's not my favourite character. but Who's your favourite character? Look, Thor and Ragnarok. <laughs> Thor Ragnarok is by far the best portrayal of any character that I've yeah, like seen individually. The... Love and Thunder wasn't quite it for me, but... but what's your favourite? This is the answer to my question of Thor, what your favourite character Thor is. probably still is. Oh. He probably still is. At least you didn't say something gay like Hawkeye. Hawkeye actually was up there. Why? 
don't know. He's just well, hard buddy, to... Jeremy Renner's not a good way. Yeah. Snowmobile. Well, you got you, you got run over by his own snowmobile. Yeah, it's such... Because he no. so no, it was no. rolling, it was rolling, it was rolling back, and he tried to save it by jumping into the driver's seat, and then yeah, but he fucked it up and then fell underneath it. Anyway, um, so <laughs> it was like seventy percent yes, but thirty percent no. I, I disagree with that because I think if you were to bring his character back, it wouldn't do it justice. They nah, you can't bring it back. No. Like if he's once dead, he's gone, he's dead. Once he's gone, he's gone. I wouldn't want to. It would be shit to me to bring. What him back I would too. like, what I would actually think would be cool, would be cool to see like an old Captain America cameo. Like that would be cool. I'd be for that. I wouldn't want him to like come back and use them. Let me fight again. Because what well, Captain America is now what, Sam Wilson. Yes, yes, but I mean like uh, Steve new, Rogers. There's a new Captain America coming out with Sam Wilson. Yeah, it's Captain America. Yeah. And I'm for that. That'd be, that'd be cool. Yeah. Because did you like the new Black Panther? I did. I really did. Because it has. I really piece. liked Namor or Namor as the as the villain. He was he was a really good portrayal. What? Um, the new Black Panther. <laughs> is that a spoiler? Not really. If you watch any of the trailers, you realize the villain is a guy called Namor. Yeah, I haven't even seen the trailers. Mm. I will watch it eventually. But... but no, the new Black Panther was a very well executed movie, considering the circumstances that it was dealing with. Yeah, well, there's... like Chadwick Boseman was absolutely a phenomenal person but also like a phenomenal portrayal yeah. of black panther and you've got either two ways to do this right it's like well, you either the thing, stop it or you you do it like, but the thing is, is the black panther universe dealt with it before any of this happened but there was always a new black panther yeah like you could easily just kill him off and then bring in a new actor to play black panther but you know but like in, because they already dealt terms... with this in the fucking Winter Soldier. <laughs> I think it was the what? Movie. Whatever movie that fucking his dad gets killed in. Oh yeah, but he was already the Black Panther. Like, Chad yeah, but his Bones dad, Black Panther, was already a Black Panther. Yeah, but his, his dad, dad his before, before him was the previous Black Panther. Correct. But that's the thing; they'd already created. What? They I'm... already. They already. No, let me fucking. No, as in like, what's the mic? Um, <laughs> what What I'm saying is. Yes, in the cinematic universe, they have executed it fine. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, people loved Chadwick Boseman. People loved yeah, him. Yeah, they did love So if you execute the movie poorly, then there'd be negative repercussions. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Look, it's a comic book. You, It's a comic book movie. You could do anything you wanted to make a character work. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, if they executed the character on screen, with obviously the actor and everything considering poorly, then there'd be terrible PR. Yeah. It'd be terrible for the business. But you could easily, that's the thing though, they kind of, in a, in a dark, weird way, prepared for him to die because they could easily just kill him off in well, the universe the and that's bring the same in thing with, Black Panther. That's the same thing with they should have brought in. Character. They should have brought in Owen Wilson as the new Black Panther. <laughs> Fucking don't do him as Mobius. <laughs> They what bring bring him in? Mobius. Then... Yeah, that's Mobius. That's who we fucking play. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking of Morbius for a second. <laughs> it's not the dude it's for it's fucking. It's Morbius time. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! It's Morbius time. What the fuck's that? Oh, you kill it. Isn't isn't Morbius from fucking um? The Spider Man villain. <laughs> no, I thought Morbius was from fucking um. What is it? The thing Keanu Reeves is in. With the whole... Oh, the thing. Matrix. Yeah, the Matrix. I think maybe it's more... Mo- it's either Morbius or Mobius in that. It's one know. of the two. I don't know. I, don't know. I thought that's what you were talking about. Well, it's, it's... Who fucking plays Mobius, Morbius in the Matrix? Is a black dude. Uh... Fuck, his name. He's also in the... He's also oh, in the it's on that Lawrence... Uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, Lawrence Fishburne. They could have brought him in as the new Black Panther. Yeah. So remember, he plays the, like, pigeon dude in, um... John Wick. But he's, he's in the MCU already. Yeah, where was he playing the MCU? Uh, so he was in one of the Ant Man films. His name was, I think, it was Giant Man. Or something. Oh no, it was. He played that doctor trying to save the chick who kept glitching out all the fucking time. Yeah. Yeah. No, he is. You're right. They couldn't have. Who else were they brought in for Black Panther then? Kevin Hart or Dwayne Johnson? Kevin Hart. <laughs> Kevin Hart would have been pretty funny as Black Panther. <laughs> I don't think it would have been very. Or Dwayne tasteful. Johnson. Imagine Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne well, no, Johnson Dwayne Johnson. Did, well, no, yeah, Jane uh, Johnson's now in Black the Panther, DC because yeah, Black Panther. I don't know if that's being. I don't think I don't think no, it's that's that I saw that movie, I was very, very underwhelmed by that movie. Yeah, it didn't look all that good. No. Anywho. <laughs> yeah. uh, so today today we're going to be reviewing John Boston, uh, who was apparently Australia's first brewer in seventeen ninety six. Wow, he was Australia's first brewer in We don't actually know if that's true or not. Oh it says on the back 
1796, Australia's pioneer John Boston had a crack at brewing Australia's first beer using corn and love apple stalks. I don't know what the fuck a love apple is. Initial it's excitement. An apple, but it's made with love. I guess. In Sydney's town guardhouse quickly turned sour after tasting the drop. 200 years later, named in his honour, this new beer has been brewed in a state of art brewery and features no. Oh, right. Stalks. So this wasn't this wasn't like a continued brand. No. This was, so uh, his first beer was shit. in honour. But because he, he at least made a beer. But then what the fuck actually defines a beer? What is a beer? We're not talking. We're not getting into this. <laughs> All right. So it is a. It's called the Guardhouse Golden Ale. Um, so it is a 4.2%, approximately 1.1 cent of drinks. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's quite golden. Um, it looks the same color as any other fucking no, beer. No, it's, it's much, it's much more lighter. It's much more golden. Yeah, all right. Um, it, what's your opinion? It's very good. Aren't you one for reviewing? I don't know, but it tastes to me like any other fucking ale, to be honest. Look, it's, it's very easy to drink. It's a, it's a golden ale. So like, it's very, it's bitterness is only one out of five. It's malt is two out of five. Its color is gold. Yeah, no shit. And its taste is smooth, slush, and biscuity. I don't really taste the biscuit. It tastes pretty smooth. Um, it's pretty good. I'd drink it again. Yeah, I'd drink it again as well. But I wouldn't. I don't know. The thing is that I'd, I don't know. I don't really drink much anything different. I drink the same three fucking things I normally drink. Um, but in terms of reviewing this beer, you know, like, I, I, I don't mind it. Um, if you handed me it, I wouldn't cringe at drinking it and that's to be honest the thing yeah ultimately i think the if i'm not paying for it you can give me whatever but would i, I go out of my it, way I rate to buy it higher it? than the first week's beer but i rate <laughs> it lower what did we rate the first week's beer alex i didn't like it i can't I think remember it was what like i rated it. And... i didn't i didn't like it yeah um, i think we were rated out of six i remember the i remember the six thing i can't remember what it's six out of yeah um I I think I said last week, I'm not uh, a big hoppy kind no. of guy. This is very, very smooth to drink. Um, I'm not a very cloudy ale kind of guy, yeah. so it's very clear. Uh, it's very easy to drink. It's not bitter. No. Um, it's not sweet. I'm also not a sweet guy either. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's a good drink. I, I probably rate it thick... five out of six cans. Hmm. Five out of six bottles. I I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a five point three. Five point three. Yeah, I'd rate it a five. It's not. I don't know. I'm not really a big be on my ales. Yep. I Fair enough. Wouldn't. Like so it's got... good, but I would never go. I would never buy it because it's the best beer in the world. I think that to get a six rating, it's, it'd have to be something I'd go out of my way to buy, and mm. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this simply because I'm a cheapskate and I typically buy forty five dollar cartons. What are you drinking? Water? No, nah, because I, well, I get 5% off it. Hmm. The client anyway. All right, so I, <laughs> I rate this 5.3. No, I rate it a 5. It's good. I like it. I'll drink it again. So a combined total of 10.3 out of 12. When have we ever done a combined total? I'm doing it today. Yeah. All, right. All right. Anyway, that uh, with our brewery review brings us to the end of this week's episode of the podcast. Um... <laughs> Obviously, your hosts, uh, Alex and Aaron, as always. Uh, that'll be the same next week, can promise you. It'll be very embarrassing if that changes next we week. We will eventually. <laughs> we do plan on bringing on guests. Um, but for now, you're stuck with us. Um, look forward to potentially having guests on in the future. Yeah. Uh, and as always, obviously, we've got our other channels as well. Uh, so check out our shorts, gaming, vlogs, um, and revisit our other podcasts if you're interested. Um Otherwise, it's been a pleasure having you. Thank you so much for being with us today. Um, we're really enjoying we're on, this. We're on Pornhub as well, aren't we? No, we're not, I'm afraid. Maybe later. Maybe the OnlyFans content will start. <laughs> start later. Where's that going? No, it's, that's just going to purely my feed. Just feed pics. <laughs> just feed pics. Yeah, um, yeah find us on um, on YouTube, Twitter, OnlyFans, Pornhub, RedTube, X Videos, X Hamster. Uh, <laughs> How do you know all these? <laughs> That's four. Can you think of any other ones? No. <laughs> no. All right. I think X Hams is a pretty funny one. Why would you fucking name it after a Hams? <laughs> and on that note, 
Thank you very much for being with us today. We will catch you next time. Thanks, guys. See Bye. you next week. Let's go.